So the final thing we're going to do with posts is all the little bits and pieces you can do with a post, okay? Now, depending on what plugins you have, you might be able to embed, embed a form in, inside a, a post, okay? Um, you know, we've, we've gone over Add Media, but this, the visual editor and the text editor will show you all the different things. So you can basically bold by selecting the text first, italicize, you select the text first, you can do a strike through, select the text first. You can create a, a, an ordered list or a numbered list, an ordered list. You can put in a block quote and how you do a block quote is you would have some text, always give it one line and then put a block quote in there. Okay, you'll be able to, you, 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 you can also, you know, this could make it look pretty ugly, but uh, I'll go down to here actually. You can also uh, center align the text, left align the text, right align the text. You can also add a link to the text and you select the text you want to link. You click on the link, you type in the, the URL and then describe the URL. Okay, and now an important thing with links is if you're linking to anything internal within your website, you don't tick this. But if you're linking to an external website, you don't want the per person to leave your site. When they click on that link, this will open it in a new tab or a new window. And then you basically add the link, and there the link is. Okay. There's also you can get you can get added added features and stuff like that for for your theme. Uh, now this basically the more button here uh, puts a break in the in the site. I'm going to get rid of uh, that those more links, but you can you can have that, and that'll separate the content on your site. Okay, um, this here is expands it to uh, making it a full screen view. This gives you further options, but you want to be careful with these. Uh, this is uh, some uh, short codes from the theme that's created, and you'll find that a lot of the themes that you install will have short little short codes. You want to read the guide about that. You can insert a short code for the shop if you wanted to in, insert a short code for the shop as well. But there is a range of things that you can do and you can add. Um, if I update this, you'll see those updated uh, that updated information. It might take a few seconds to to load that, but you'll see that I've got the bold, I've got the link, I've got the italicized, I've got the strike through. You'll see um, some other things as well now. The final thing is the H. A lot of themes will allow you to create H H1 font sizes, H2, H3, all the way up to H6. Okay, and they get smaller and smaller. And a lot of the, a lot of them allow you to color these as well, custom color, cu custom colorize. Uh, you'll see some other. These are some short codes from the theme, some columns that's through short codes, and some little tabs as well. Every theme has everything from below here is pretty much specific to this theme uh, for their short codes. But the but the H3 font sizes, you'll see here. This is how they work. You start off the the the, the title in brackets like that, and then you close it off with a backslash, and then that will make that the H1 font size, and the same with H2. And H3, etc., etc., etc. Nearly all of my themes uh, support this uh, the, the, this style, um, and in the in the in the theme options, you can actually colorize them as well, to make them different colors. Don't go too crazy with that, though. Keep it nice and clean. But there you go. There's some little bits and pieces you can do within a within a post.